Science College. Hi, my name is Dennis Ball and I go to Ashton Community Science College. We have talked to different groups of people and I've made this video to inform you about fracking. Next, on the views from someone who works in the fracking industry. We need to actually not having enough in this country. What that means is that we're having to import an increasing amount of gas to keep us where we need to be in terms of supply. So this red area is a forecast from the Department of Energy and Climate Change, these government statistics, forecasting that we're going to have to import a lot more gas from overseas. Then we uh, went on a uh, visit to a fracking tank. New wells were actually targeting the shale, so the upper and the lower Boland shale. And what, what is interesting is that as you as you drill down further into the into the the rock, you're actually going back through time. So the Boland shale is is part of um, the Carboniferous period. Um, that means that. It starts at about 300 million years old. Lots of feedback, very, very tiny uh, potential uh, earthquakes, which wouldn't even be perceptible to a human being. So really low level earthquakes. Um, and that will allow us to regulate our operations. Two pockets, it's going to be minutes to one chance, isn't it, really? And, um, you oh, drill, yeah. It's very, very, you'll find that water. Yeah, if, if you drill somewhere else. Yeah. Probably I mean, it probably wouldn't happen if we drilled the, uh, for the next well, but he wants the geology, so we can actually see this. It sounds strange, doesn't it? But we can actually see the various levels, but so the various layers of rock, and we can understand where some of the faults are as well, so we can avoid These are some pictures of the site. of the, the aquifer uh, water around the site. So in the centre here, that, that's the well bore where the, the gas would flow, okay? So when this was running, it produced up to, well, it was a megawatt, megawatt, a megawatt, a megawatt. Yeah, thousand kilowatts an hour, 24 yeah. hours a day, seven days a week, right to the beginning. Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is David Crawshaw and I'm from the Lancashire Wildlife Trust. And um, is it Miss Common? Yeah. Yeah, Miss Common uh, just asked me to say a few words about the Wildlife Trust to sort of say who we are and what our interest is, if you like. So we're a charity and obviously we're, we're there to, to look after wildlife, but we're interested in in people as well. We, we don't, we're not just looking after animals and birds, we're, we're interested in, in, in putting people in touch. So what are your personal thoughts on fracking? My personal thoughts? I, 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 I thought you might ask me that, it's a very un, unfair question, but uh, I, I, I think I would say that on the whole, because I am very nervous about the motivations behind fracking, and I think that if fracking goes ahead, it will undermine the commitments to reducing fossil fuels and so on. And I think it's, it's thought of as an easy option uh, and it's being latched onto. And because of all that, and because I don't, I don't really trust the promises that are being made. Well, the fracking itself is, is certainly there's nothing about fracking that's helping the environment, so no, I think, and as you saw, there were quite a few things that we're really worried about. Would you ever get a job Would in I? fracking? Would yeah. I, yeah. personally? Um, no, I wouldn't. I, 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 I wouldn't um, want a job in fracking, but um, it is possible that there will be some. What do you think fracking affects in the wildlife? Well... <clears throat> Like I said, one of the concerns is that the, the amount of land that's taken up, um, firstly, it could disturb things like 
you know, owls, for example, if you've got a noisy um, square of land with lots of lorries coming on, lots of lights at night, um, lots, making lots of noise, that's, that's quite disturbing to, to local wildlife. Thank you for watching. Please check your emails for our questionnaire. Once you have completed it, we can then look at the results. And just how informative slash useful our video has been. Helping our community make decisions about fracking. Thank, Thank you for watching! watching.